and threw him up into the air. Everyone watched as flames of fire engulfed the man. La ilaha illallah Allahu Akbar Dajjal When the music soars day and night Know that now's the end of times When a father is shunned and scorned Know that family bonds are torn When the truth is called a lie Know the deceptive one is nigh Stand up against the wicked ones as sturdy as a stone For here he comes, here he comes, here comes the jaw The one-eyed one but know your Lord is Allah one. Have no fear and rise to fight, and heaven will be your prize. Where are you going, huh? I want to meet this man who says he is God. He is God. Don't you believe in him? Our God is Allah, the one and only. How dare you refuse to obey our master? Kill him! No, stop. Only our master can punish and kill people, not us. So, the guards took this man to their master, Dajjal. Dajjal was the most powerful and evil man on earth. He controlled the sky and the earth. Rain fell only when he commanded, and crops grew only on his desire. Only true Muslims with strong beliefs in Allah were able to stand up against him. When the brave young man was brought before Dajjal, he recognized him at once. Dajjal was blind in his right eye, and a thick piece of scarred flesh covered his left eye. Beware, my fellows, this man is Dajjal. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has warned us about him. Dajjal was furious to hear this. Catch hold of him and break his head. The guards grabbed the man and started beating his head. They hit him on his back and his stomach. Ah! Oh! Hmm. Do you believe in me now? You are the false god. Dajjal got angrier. Cut him in half from his head to his legs. So the soldiers cut the man in half leaving the two pieces of his body lying apart on the floor. Dajjal walked proudly between the two parts of the man's body and commanded, Stand up! And behold, the man stood up on his feet like before. Now do you believe that I am your lord? Dajjal asked the man. My belief is even stronger than before that you are not God. The man knew from the sayings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that Dajjal would do mighty things. Dajjal tried to strangle the young man. He wanted to make him a lesson for anyone who dared to challenge him. But even with all the power and strength, he was not able to do so. Allah had turned the man's neck into copper. Dajjal then grabbed this man and threw him up into the air. Everyone watched as flames of fire engulfed the man. The people thought that the brave man was thrown into hell, but in reality he reached the beautiful garden of heaven.
He was the most special martyr in the sight of Allah. Remember, this is a story from the future. This has not happened yet, but it will come true. And the Dajjal will not appear until the people forget him and stop talking about him. Hey, you! Give this story a thumbs up and subscribe to the Luke May channel and tell us in the comments what you thought about this story.